giant pond on Gelsey Street that's been put up by Phantom Girls. It's incredible. Is, it is incredible. Um, and I'm going to ask you five questions. Yeah. So, um, Adassa Grace, you uh, have done so much in your very short life. You <laughs> have been a singer, a songwriter, you're in the band The Eastern, you opened for Fleetwood Mac. That's right. You've been a burlesque performer, you're a woman's, a woman's rights, a sex worker rights activist. Um, a writer, published writer, and more recently in the past couple of years you've started with poetry. That's right. Uh, what is the best thing about being you? Well, I think what allowed me to do all of those incredible things was just, I just happened to be surrounded by really incredibly talented, amazing people. Um, I have always been part of scenes that seem to form very tight-knit communities, both music and now poetry and activism. I think because not a lot of people are doing them, it's something that really draws people together um, and creates a really beautiful community. So that's a pretty cool thing about being me. You're very generous <laughs> with your answers too. Uh, so uh, on the 2nd of September, you're going to be performing at the Opera House in Menagerie Deluxe. Uh, you are coming in to fill the poetry slot, even though you can do many, many different things. <laughs> You have incredibly soft, beautiful turns of phrases and gorgeous words, and you're not afraid to um, tackle really hard topics in your poetry. I would like to ask, what what would you like the audience to get from your performance? Um, I think the cool thing about poetry now in 2017 is that it doesn't have to be stuffy or boring or overly sincere. It can be funny and powerful and. Um, I think it's anything that makes you think about more than just what's being immediately said. So I would say maybe think about the subtext of things. <laughs> yeah. What do you do when you're not performing? Um, I read a lot and I write a lot, obviously. Um, I'm a little bit of a workaholic as well. Um, I work for a women's refuge. Um, and more recently, I'm not very strong or good at it yet, but I've started lifting weights at the gym. Fan of that, I think every woman should. <laughs> uh, who has been a big influence? Who or what has been a big influence for you? Um, in terms of poetry, um, I really like uh, Carla Mila, um, Rita Dove, Mary Oliver, um, really just tremendously talented poets. Um, in terms of just general writing, I'm a big fan of Margaret Atwood. Um, who else? I don't know, I think all over the country there are some really incredible women just getting stuff done. Just out there in the mud, getting stuff done. And I try to write to and for them. Beautiful. Last question. Uh, what's a current minor obsession? I have two. Um, one is my good friend Dominic Hoey's new book that's launching tonight called Iceland. Beautiful. I read it when it was just the first draft and thought this is gonna sweep the nation. Um, so read it. Um, and then Aldous Harding's new music video for Blend. So good. I've watched it about 24 times in the last two days. So I don't know when I'll get to editing this. So Dominique's um, book will be out now. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's now that will be? Iceland. Wonderful. Thank you so much.